All right, in this segment, we're going to look at a circular motion problem of an object on a flat surface. So from the perspective of the top, this object on a flat surface is going to follow you know, like a record player or something, something like this, where its motion is going to go around in a circle like that. But the free body diagram is the most important thing. And the free body diagram we want to draw is going to show the forces in the x and y directions. But in this case, the forces on this object are in towards the center and in, uh, out of and into the page. So this perspective doesn't really do us much good. So we need to flip this like this or you know, bring yourself down to its level. So looking at it horizontally, we would have something looking like this with an object here where there's a normal force upward, there's weight downward, and some force, if this were an object on a record player, it would happen to be the friction force, which would be keeping it in the circle. And as this object moves around, that friction force is always going to be centrally directed, which is what makes it a centripetal force. Now in this case, well in all circular cases, the centripetal force is just the name given to whatever force happens to be keeping the thing going in a circle. In this case, that centripetal force bill happens to be paid by friction, but it really could be anything. So, this object which has friction as its centripetal force. So the sum of the forces, namely friction, are what are responsible for cat. Sorry. You may see the cats again. Are what's responsible for keeping this thing moving in a circle. So in the case of a rotating object, well an object sitting on the surface, the friction happens to be mu times n. And the centripetal acceleration is v squared over r. So whatever happens to be the given information in this question, we can know that there is some relationship between the speed that this thing travels at. If it were uh, further out on the circle, it would be traveling faster because for a given rotational speed you now it's going to have to make either this circumference in a certain amount of time or if it were further out it would have to make a larger circumference in the same amount of time. So it would have to go a further distance in the same amount of time meaning it's going faster. So there's a relationship between the speed and the friction that is needed to keep it stationary to keep it at rest on the, the moving top so that it doesn't slide off. So I think there is one question that asks you to find the coefficient of friction needed in order to you know, stay on this rotating surface and so this would be where you'd be looking for that information.